All right, we're, we're Comp 305. Welcome. It's um, We are Game Programming 1, and it's Week 1, Lesson 1, Part 1. Um, I record all my lectures on YouTube. For some of you, you know that. Um, I'll be also doing, I'll go one further than that. This, this uh, semester, I'll try and broadcast as well. Uh, there might be a, a time where we need to not be together in the same room for whatever reason, um, and I will be broadcasting as much as I can. Not today, or at least not the mo for the most part. But that's what we will be doing. Uh, so what are we doing here anyway? We're learning about game, and uh, primarily we're doing things with 3D, a 3D environment, and Unity. That's our kind of game engine of choice. Let's talk about the um, kind of the the syllabus and uh, course outline all kind of roll into one. Right? I like to try and do that at the very beginning. Again, there's four out, four class hours per week for this one, uh, just like normal. Uh, some classes are only three. Per week, uh, but let's take a look. Um, from an assignment perspective, there, what they basically said there would be four assignments worth about eight marks each, total of forty, right? Four times eight, five times eight. Sorry, that would be like uh, forty. I don't know why it's, it's put out there. So four or five assignments uh, that are going to come up with a, with a total of a weight of 40, uh, 40 marks. Um, a bunch of labs, uh, some exercises that you guys are going to be completing in class. And there will be some tests. Now, it does say that there's tests 1, 2, and 3 in weeks 5, 8, and 13, worth about 20, 10, and 15 marks, respectively. Um, some of that may change only because we're, we're, I'm going to try and rejig the course depending on how um, I see things are going. Okay? Slight modifications, though. It'll be probably in line. So this week, week 1, we're going to really... It says intro to Blender. Um, we're not going to just talk Blender. We only have really two hours out of the four hours because we lost Monday, right? But um, we're going to really talk about setup, tools that you're going to be needing to use, um, some prep work that I need you guys to do ahead of time, right? Those kind of things, and things we can and can't do. Next week, we're really going to dig into uh, Unity and uh, start really going into um, our first assignment. Now, it says that we have a first assignment kind of be given today. I'm probably going to give it out next week, and it'll be due uh, later on. And I'll, I'll kind of give you more of an outline. What I'd like to try and do, I know, see what it says here, it says assignment two, right? And where is assignment three? Here's assignment three, and then finally, there should be kind of a final assignment, and there isn't on the outline. So I have to kind of come up with a revision for you guys in the form of, a, I'm going to kind of put it in, in quotations, syllabus, right, for this, uh, for this particular course, only because we're going through some flux, a little bit of change. So please bear with me while we do that. I will publish something that you'll see uh, more of a course plan uh, for us for this uh, for this particular uh, session. Again, there are two sections. There are section one and section two. I believe this one is section one, and tomorrow would be section two, the second half of section two. Uh, section one and section two run on both Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. All those days, they just split over lab and lecture uh, time frames, right? So if you look really closely at what we're doing here, um, if you follow the outline, just from the broad spectrum topics here, um, when we, we talk about the game development environment in Unity, um, we kind of intro to Unity, we talk about um, the actual um, UI for Unity next week uh, in more depth. We'll still look at that today. I'd like to try and look at Unity today and, and ask you a couple questions, see who, who knows what and so on. Um, we'll get into uh, camera motion in week two or week three and then go into models, maps, materials. Again, uh, this is kind of following what we did in Comp 391. So if you had to Comp 391 with me, then you've already done pretty a, a pretty good deep dive on materials, lighting, textures, maps, everything, right? If you haven't had to Comp 391 with me, which looks to be the majority of you guys, unfortunately, um, then we're going to have to do a little bit of a review. So I'm going to have to kind of catch you up with the rest of the guys who had me last semester, right, during the summer semester. Um, where we kind of went over all those kinds of things. So there's some people that are really comfortable with those kind of um, concepts and 3D and all that kind of stuff, and there's some other people that aren't so comfortable. We kind of have to bridge the gap between the two teams there. All right, so again, that's, that's in week four. Week five, again, um, you know, creating a UI, right? And again, we're talking about uh, a UI that's 3D and 2D and so on. I'm going to cover in this course, I want to try to kind of cover both 2D and 3D aspects of, of game development, right? One thing I can't do and that I'm leaving for the next course, Game Programming 2, with, uh, with Professor Narendra is we're not going to do things like complex mapping, um, 
AI uh, too much um, and networking, like multiplayer and all that kind of stuff. That's going to come on to another course. It's just too much to add into one into one course, right? But that's totally something that we're gonna you're gonna definitely learn over the uh, over the uh, the next couple courses. Um, again, sounds, um, audio and video uh, in general, and then finally we're gonna get into the second half. Um, external resources. Again, you're gonna um, we're probably gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of this external resource stuff earlier on because hey, I'm gonna be talking about content creation tools today, probably a little bit of next week as well because you need to understand some of these content creation tools. As I mentioned earlier, it's not gonna just be Blender. Blender is one content creation tool, but really, when we talk about the game development pipeline, we wanna talk about things like Maya, Autodesk Maya, Autodesk 3D Studio Max, and then from there into Unity, right? And how do we do that? And where, where are these free resources we can grab from the internet, you know, take some of these, this, these 3D models and incorporate them into our games, right? because we don't have time to create all these things. Like if I had you last semester, then we did all that already, right? This semester is kind of be, going to be almost like a truncated version of that, where we kind of review some of the stuff we did in COM391 um, from a Blender perspective and so on, and then the, using those same game concepts to create our projects and assignments, right? So, um, again, they're at the very end where it says things like, um, uh, AI, like week 12 and 13, this is where I'm going to try and do a little bit of tweaking in these last three weeks because there's going to be, you know, a final assignment that I want you guys to do. Most likely it's going to be a group assignment. There's going to be a group of one or two people to get together to put together a little game in Unity. Now you might say two people putting together a game in Unity, but I don't need to do that. There's a lot of stuff to do in Unity and when you combine two people to do it, um, you can come up with quite a decent product um, for your portfolio. Right, so that's why we're going to say one or two people. If you if you're the type of person that likes to fly solo, you don't have to use anybody. You can do it on your own. If you're a type of person that um, you know likes to work with other people, and and you know what, it's going to be a busy schedule for some of you guys this semester, right? So it might be it might behoove you to kind of work with somebody else and pick a partner early, right? Now again, it's going to be a full game, which means you're going to have scoring just like we did in Blender. You're going to have um, you know an intro screen, an exit screen some kind of, uh, there's going to be UI elements, um, audio elements, the whole, you know, kind of a complete game. Now, does it have to be completely original? Absolutely not. <laughs> we don't have time for originality. We have time to talk, to talk about the basics, right? If we have time for originality, I'd love it. And I'm hoping some of you will please give me something I've never seen before kind of thing, right? But uh, chances are um, it's not something that I, I'm, I'm fully expecting. And again, some of the the schedule from a test perspective, if you notice, we it, it looks like we have a, a test scheduled in week 12. Um, not sure that I'll do that. I'll probably push that into week 14 um, with some kind of presentation. I want to see what you've got by week 13, 14 in that range. So again, some of this is going to have to be rejigged and I will produce that by the end of the week. Okay, Only because there's just so much to do. Not that I'm not going to cover most of this stuff. It's just going to be moved around a little bit in terms of, of the way we do things. Okay, so that's really kind of a very, very high level view. Um, and um, as we continue to evolve this stuff, uh, you're going to see that this, this course, although it looks like there's a lot of 3D and using the Unity tool, this is a scripting course. This is not just playing around with the Unity tool. It is you scripting to make stuff happen, right? So if you're not comfortable with C Sharp and all that kind of stuff, this is going to push you a little bit, right? If you're comfortable with C Sharp, and um, you want to get to gaming and, and, and uh, developing games, then this is the course for you, right? And we're also going to do like this, again, this remedial, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, here's 3D, and this, these are all the elements of 3D and all this kind of stuff, right? And we're going to do that today. Any questions around this, the format? Now, again, I'm, I'm going to come up with a syllabus for this course, unofficial, but it's something that's going to at least be a plan for you so you, under, you understand when things are coming, right? Because I don't want you guys to be surprised. The reason why I can't stick to this, if I stuck to this, you guys would be dead. <laughs> like, I'll be honest with you, right? The reason why I can't stick to this is because there's a lot of material, and I've got, I've got two groups that are kind of being integrated into one that have different levels of uh, inf the kind of knowledge or whatever, right? So that's why I'm doing that. The great thing is, because I have these two sections, I don't mind if you guys sit in any one of the sections. So, for example, 
because this section is section one and you want to sit in section two tomorrow just because you know you you're not available for section one this week or next week or whatever i'm okay with that you don't have to appear in the section one slot right if you're okay if you want to be in section two or you want to move into that slot for just to sit in there that's fine i'll still be marking you and your marks will appear in section one right so i'm not going to combine the two sections yeah so let's go over this again. That's a very good question. Thank you for that. So what I have in my calendar is on Mondays, right? If I was to look at from an organizational perspective, section two starts from 2.30 to 4.30 on Mondays. That is kind of the first part, or I, I don't want to call it lecture part of section two. Section one, your section, is from 6.30 to 8.30 on Mondays. That's quite late, right? So some of you may not really favor that section time frame. And that's fine. If you guys want to pile in to, to the uh, 2.30 to 4.30 time frame, as long as I have room, computers, if you guys bring your laptops, I'm going to do that. Like, I'm not forcing you to be in there if you have the, the scheduling freedom to do that. On Tuesdays, we have section 1 on 4.30 to 6.30 time frame. And then on Wednesdays, I have section 2, the second half of section 2, from 10.30 to 12.30. So, again, there's a little bit of flexibility if you wanted to do, like, the, le the, le the lab part of, of uh, you know, your section one tomorrow, that's fine. I would have been fine with that as well, right? As long as you do your four hours of, of class time, it doesn't matter to me how you do it, as long as you get both part one and part two of the week. Make sense? All right, so, again, what we want to try and do is, is um, kind of cover everything you need to know for 3D in this course and 2D. So I'm using Unity as a tool. I want to pr produce games cross-platform for iOS, for Android, for whatever I want to do for Windows, for Mac, whatever. It's got to be I got to be able to do it for 2D and 3D at least at a very high level, right? When we get into second course, course two, you'll be doing more, you know, things like um, do different different kind of things that you can't do here. The more complex, more complex scripting, a little bit more AI. I'm going to kind of touch on AI. I'll touch on particle physics. And those kind of things, but there's only so much I can do in the 14 weeks for it together because there's tons and tons of stuff to talk about. Okay. Any other questions on this, on, on the outline that we have right now? Okay. And uh, kind of logistics, if you will. All right. So that's it from a, kind of a course outline perspective. Now I'm going to shut this um, video down and we're going to go into, I'm just going gonna, gonna to reboot into boot camp and go right into um, uh, the Windows side of the house. And we'll talk about the tools and stuff that you need. Okay?